This video is to show how to submit a customer service ticket for assistance with Vaytas. Now you can get there from your main Vaytas login page by coming down here to the link to the Vaytas SharePoint portal. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and select payroll. And then from that payroll site, I'm going to go ahead down here under payroll links where it says submit a Vaytas support ticket. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And that is going to bring you to the site where you can enter tickets. And once you're actually in this site, you can bookmark this so that you don't have to keep going through the Vaytas SharePoint portal. But I just wanted to show you that that's one way that you can get there if you don't already have the site bookmarked. So then once you're there, you're just going to go ahead and read this statement. Click on the little box here and select Agree. And that's going to bring you to the site where you can submit a ticket. So from this screen, you're going to see that there are a lot of categories because this site is also used for any payroll support. So if you need to send a ticket for tier one payroll support, you would also use this site. But for Vaytas, you're going to select the one that says timekeeping system. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And you'll see that there are several different categories. So some of the things that you may need to send a ticket for, or if you need to have a role assigned to a timekeeper or a supervisor or a TL approver, or if you need a new tour of duty created, or if you need to change an employee's timesheet profile, or if you have a missing employee. So there are several different things that you may need to submit a ticket for. For this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and select timesheet as my category and enter the information for my ticket. So you notice that my name already comes up in this. Now, if you're the first time user, you're actually going to have to register first. So it's just one extra little step. And there will be instructions for that on the Baytas SharePoint site it's for that extra step of having to register. But you're going to have to select and say that you are the payroll office staff. For Baytas, you always have to select payroll office. They are the only ones that should be submitting a Baytas ticket. It's going to ask you what is your station number. So you would go ahead and enter that. And then it's also going to ask you what is the station number for this employee's station number for this request? So if you are servicing more than one station, you may need to put a different station in there other than your own station. But in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and keep it the same. Now it's going to ask you whether it pertains to VATAS or ETA. So we're going to go ahead and select VATAS. The next field is going to ask for a phone number. So if you may need to want to be contacted, you can go ahead and put your phone number in there. If the person that gets the ticket may maybe need some more information or something, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and put your phone number in there. The next part is request or notes. So again, you want to be as detailed as possible and you can include PII if needed in, in this part. You want to make sure you include as much detail as possible. Definitely make sure you include the employee's name that you are entering this ticket for and any other pertinent information, as much information is, as possible so that the person that's getting the ticket will be able to have as much information as they need to be able to resolve your case. The next spot is where you can add additional users. So called, it's called a follower. So if you want someone to be able to see the results of your case, such as your, your fellow payroll technicians, you can go ahead and enter their name there, their email, and then their first name and their last name, and go ahead and select add, and then that, that way they will be able to see the, the case resolution as well as you. And that's probably a good idea, especially if you know that you're going to be going on leave or something and you may want everyone in the payroll office to be able to see the resolution. The next spot is where you can attach files. So anything that's needed, any kind of documentation that is needed for this ticket, if it's a delegation of authority or an HR smart screen or a DFAS screen, any information that is needed in order to get the case resolved, go ahead and attach it to the ticket. And again, the more information that you can provide, the better for the, the person that's actually working the ticket. So once everything is done, you're just going to go ahead and click create, and that will go ahead and create the case and, and route it to the appropriate person. Once you've created it, you can go back to your cases and you can see what has what has been submitted. So this is one that I had, had done previously, and you can see that it is in a status of pending, waiting to be worked. And then 
Once it's resolved, you'll be able to see your cases that have been resolved. So that is how you would submit a, a customer service ticket for assistance with VATES, and I thank you for joining me in this video.